Hi everyone, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It's May 1st, 2013. Just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, the, the uh, continuing disrespectful way in which media covers stories about murdered trans people. Um, the latest one coming out of Ohio, state that's had a lot of bad press this year. Um, what's her name? Semia Akoff. A trans woman of color who was uh, murdered. Um, her body was uh, found, I believe, naked and uh, encased in cement blocks thrown into a body of water. And, uh, however, uh, news entities reporting on the murder seemed more interested in victim blaming, um, taking note that uh, she at one point, I guess, uh, was in trouble with the law for I guess inappropriately having prescription medication, ironically enough, transgender hormones. Um, first of all, transgender people require hormones and uh, it seems ridiculous that it would be illegal for a transgender person to possess hormones. Second of all, it's as if they're trying to dehumanize or discredit her life suggest that she deserved to die or suggest that she did not deserve to live. Um, you don't usually see that uh, when, when murders are reported. Um, it's usually the accused who is labeled the bad guy. But uh, it seems a lot of these uh, news organizations want to focus on dehumanizing blaming and bad-mouthing the victim just because uh, she happened to be trans. Um, I see that organizations such as GLAD, Equality Ohio, Trans Ohio, and the Cleveland LGBT Community Center are speaking out. I'm speaking out too because it's wrong. Media, clean up your act, will ya? Um, second of all, I guess this is just another gentle reminder that uh, trans people, and specifically trans people of color, are perhaps the most frequently victimized of violent crimes, including murder. And it's a sign that society has a long way to go in terms of acceptance of diversity. Yeah. So if anyone in the media is watching this, I get it, trans people are, are, we're a small minority, and I'll even admit that I've been guilty of perhaps using my status as a trans person to bring attention to issues that otherwise would not get attention. Ultimately, the best way to uh, promote acceptance of diversity is to do education and awareness of that diversity. And that's why I've gone out of my way to bring attention, not necessarily to me as a person, but to the good things I do. There's so many stories about trans people being bad people and that we can't function in society. So every time I can demonstrate that I actually can function in society, I think it's worthy of telling that story. I've held jobs, I've run marathons, I've taken up causes like animal rights, uh, I've put together nonprofit organizations, I've done a lot of good things, as have many uh, trans people all over the world. And uh, let's knock on wood, luckily I've not been victimized, I've not been murdered yet. Um, if that were to happen though, I really hope the media uh, would not try to point the finger and blame me. Um, murder's wrong, no matter who it's, who's being murdered. And there's absolutely no reason to be blaming the victim or bad-mouthing the victim here. Um, so yeah, um, there's my rant. Uh, Semia Akoff, uh, your family, uh, I feel badly. Um, you, you hate to read about murders, violent murders. Perhaps, we don't know, sexual assault was involved here. Um, naked body found dead um, it's just it's just disgusting that this is happening uh, in this world and uh, this is a person folks uh, 
who has family and friends or did have family and friends they're obviously very upset grieving and uh, let's not forget that folks thanks for watching